So what I want to demonstrate is uh, how to clean a Delta soap dispenser plunger that came with my sink faucet and I use it quite a bit. What happens is after some time, I had a couple of years, the um, I would press it and the soap would come out and then it would kind of stick there and maybe after five or ten seconds it would pop back up. Uh, so it was kind of stuck slowly and uh, what I wanted to do was because when you use your soap dispenser for dishes or whatever and you want to fill your sink you want to pump this thing like three or four or five times real quick so if it you push it down and it sticks and even if you pull it sometimes it would pull the whole thing out so it really wasn't practical to kind of try to pull it out sometimes if you waited five ten seconds it would uh, it would slowly come back up but like I said if you're trying to get five six seven eight pumps real quick it was kind of a, annoying so I'm going to show you how to clean that valve and to lube it so that it will uh, work better so this is the complete uh, valve and tube and top uh, and these change quite a bit uh, varying styles and things and the tube can pop right out and you got to remember when you put it back together that the uh, slanted end is at the bottom and so these generally will pop off I might have to pull kind of hard but they pop off so that's and they change these for the different styles like I mentioned so this is the actual valve and so I'm going to what you have here this is the plunger now this one I've already cleaned so it doesn't stick but what they do is they would stick down there and maybe not come back or or come back after five or ten seconds or something so this one's been cleaned already so uh, it's it's working fine but I'm going to show you how this how to take apart so there's a seam here everything here snaps together so there's a seam here you can barely make out I've opened this a few times so it's kind of a you can see a little gap there but uh, generally they look more like this like you can barely see it but if you take a utility knife with the sharp end carefully and then put it in that seam so you get it in there like that and then if you give it a little and be careful because this stuff can fly and you don't want to lose these little tiny plastic valves and things in there because it could fly out because the spring will, will pop it out so be careful and put it in an area where you're, you're not going to lose little pieces so you, there you go it pops out and so these are the items this is the top this is the main tube here and this is the plunger so there's other pieces in here but in reality all you have to do is lubricate this area here with some of this white uh, lube I'm going to show you in a second so this is this is the lube uh, grease it's from this company Danco they make faucets and all sorts of things so it's a silicon grease non-toxic so uh, you can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's, a hardware store, and it's just a little tube like this. They're quite uh, small, and the nice thing about this grease as opposed to something like Vaseline is that it stays in place better. Vaseline, I think, can kind of get washed out after some time. Okay, and you get this, and we'll put the silicon, the glue, uh, the grease on here a little bit. Make it a little bit, make sure there's some on all sides of it. So what I'm going to do is take the rest of it apart so you can see all the parts. And so you can put it back together. There's two valves in this thing. There's one here on the end. There's a little plastic piece. And there's a little plastic valve. And, and make sure you see this orientation because it's the, the pointy end down on this piece like that when you put it back together but I'm going to lay these all out so you can see the order so that goes there that goes there this goes here that goes here okay oh, trying to get it to stay and uh, spring is in here there's a fat end and a thin end and that goes in that order and then there's another little valve and plastic piece in here if you are going to take this out be careful because that little valve is very not very sturdy if you take a screwdriver like this, just gently, gently 
push it a little bit to try to get it loose. Sometimes you can just go like that and it'll come out. So, but if you can't, if you really want to get that apart, like I say, and be careful, this, this can scratch or nick the valve and then it won't work anymore. So here's the other valve. So like I said, there are two. So this goes like this. This is the order of the way these things go. This way, this way. So the spring sits in here. The valve sits in here. This goes into the into that. So that is the orientation of everything. So just in case it flies apart, uh, you'll be able to put it back together. So the easiest way to put it back together is this goes in this direction. The, the soap would flow this way. And then you put this into there and uh, don't have to push it down, you know, push it down a little bit, not all the way necessarily. Make, make sure that little valve, I don't know if you can see it, that little valve in there is seated, you know, pointed up. And then the spring can go in and just push that down. That's the spring. And then, like I say, this one, you got to make sure this is the right direction, the pointy end, pointy valve end up, pointy plastic end down. And then this fits in here. And it it's fits usually nicely so it won't fall out. And then that's where the spring goes. The spring goes right around right around there. And then you push it in. So, it's, so that's the way it works. This plunger goes down like that. And then really you just pop this back on all the way. Oop, wrong side. And that's pretty much it. And you'll see now it's, it's very... Very easy, and it returns very quickly and easily. Valve, and of course, I could always do that again if it gets if it gets stuck. So, and then of course, this goes here, pointy end down, and this pops into the valve. So that is it, and that will work. I'll do another shot of it on the sink, but that should be it. See how it springs back nice and easy. So uh, that should do it. Okay, and here we are back at the sink. We put it back in. It's already got soap in it. And give it a few pumps to get the air out. And there's the soap. So that's it. Hope, you know, hopefully it'll help you and maybe uh, save you from buying an extra valve uh, when maybe all it needs is a little cleaning and some lube. And like I said, I hope I'm good for a few years on this. If not, I'll do it again. Take care.